Hello YouTube friends! My name is Constance and this is Cruelty Free Musings. Welcome back to my channel and to a makeup inventory. I decided, you know, makeup inventories are kind of going around. It's sort of a standard thing to do in, in conscious consumerism, so I thought that I would do one as well. So I have a bunch of writing on these two pages and it's not my entire makeup collection because I couldn't fit the lipsticks on to this double page spread. I probably could have if I weren't tallying all of them here. But because I decided to put a tally in the middle of one page, I couldn't fit the lipsticks. It seemed more relevant to have the tally. So I have just, I'm just going to run through my numbers and, you know, what's in what category, how I count things, and um, what the point of this project is, because every project has to have a point, right? Okay, so let's get into my makeup inventory in the year in January 2020. Let's get into it. Starting with primers. I have three primers. I have counted, um, I basically spent my entire budget for January. That's not quite true, but basically all of my budget for January is already accounted for because, um, I, I wanted to buy things. All right. Okay. So I got all of my buying things out of the way at the beginning of the month. And so I am, I went ahead and counted the makeup things right at the start. Um, the, the makeup things that I bought, but haven't received yet. I went ahead and counted those just because, you know, just, you know, because I can easily refer to them on an order screen and that way I have accounted for everything that is going to enter my life in January anyway. There are a couple of miscellaneous things that I am realizing that I didn't count. Eh, it's fine. It's fine that I didn't count my lash glue or lashes. It is okay. I've worn them once. It's, you know, maybe I should wear them more since I have them. But anyway, let's get into it. Primers. I, in my recent uh, January 1st Ulta order, I bought a primer. Um, and that brings me up to three primers. I had three primers. I used up one in my... Um, in last year's project pan, in team project pan, and so I have two primers here and one in the mail. Um, I have six foundations, which is kind of a lot for someone who doesn't really like wearing foundation. Um, I have seven concealers. I bought one um, because, as I thought a year ago, they are in fact discontinuing uh, the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer line. Fortunately, my shade Fairest was still available, so I picked that one up because I really enjoyed that concealer. I have six highlighters, uh, which is not a ton, I feel like. I find it relatively easy to use and hit pen on highlighters, so I I, am, I have a high tolerance for the amount of highlight that I own. Um, I do have, of my two face palettes, one is entirely highlighters, so, you know, you can... Just, you could technically bump that number up to 12, but... Um, 
For purposes of categorization, six highlighters, two face palettes. Because I decided to do it that way, that's why. All right, I have three bronzers and I am counting the Bare Minerals powder foundation that I bought last year as a bronzer because it is definitely too dark for me. It's only about a shade too dark for me, so it's like a subtle bronzer. But at the same time, if I put it all over my face, I do look like I am wearing dirt on my face. Like if I if I put it on my face, I'm like, oh, there's a dark patch there now. So that's, um, that would actually make it an excellent contour shade because it's my skin tone. It, it's the correct undertone. It's just a little bit darker, so it'll create a really natural shadow and I should totally use it. And I don't. But anyway, I'm counting that foundation, that powder foundation as a bronzer. I have, this I actually consider to be insane, seven blushes. And I think that this is insane because I have been panning this blush, this Bare Minerals Gen Nude Powder Blush in On The Mob for an entire year. I've owned it for about 15 months and I have been using it most of the times that I do makeup for an entire year. And look, there's the tiniest little dip. I don't go through blushes. I don't go through blushes. It's insane that I have seven of them. And I feel like I should work some on getting them to look used and abused. Because, my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't use blush fast enough to have seven blushes. Okay, uh, moving on, I have 18 eyeshadow palettes. This includes five palettes that are filled with single shadows. So, um, so that would be 13. Let me just check that my count is correct. One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay, so I have five palettes of single shadows, which would make my number of commercially available eyeshadow palettes, 13. That's a lot. That is also a lot. Um, I don't feel entirely comfortable with that number. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's the number that I am dealing with. Since it is the number that I am dealing with, we will, you know, We'll just keep an eye on it. Man, I really don't feel like I need more eyeshadow after seeing that I have 18 palettes of eyeshadow. And I have pan on a uh, one pan of eyeshadow. Yeah. All right, uh, moving on, uh, compact shadows, little, uh, this, um, I counted in my compact shadows, but I counted it as three. This is the Kaja Bento box uh, in Glowing Guava. That was a Christmas present. All of my straightforward single compact shadows like this chrome paint and my ColourPop single shadows are counted in this category. Um, and that was 16 
uh, which I don't feel terrible about. I have eight lip liners, which I could make more use of my lip liners, but I do think that my my collection of colors is a very functional one, and I don't feel bad about any of the colors that I have in in, in my um, lip liner stash, particularly. I have nine eyeliners, and um, I did count this Jumbo Eye Pencil in my eyeliners. Yes, because I forgot to include it in my single shadow compact, so I was like, okay, we'll just throw it into my eyeliners. Um, this is, it's, it's nice I should use it more. All right, before I was very rudely interrupted by my SD card running out of space, I was on eyeliners. I had nine. I have two mascaras, uh, which I, one is in use and one is ready to be broken into once I, um, uh, once I, once that one's used up or dried out, they usually dry out. I don't get to use up mascaras because they start flaking on me before I can't apply anything to my mascara before I can't apply anything to my lashes. But, you know, since mascaras are very, very short term, I consider this to be completely acceptable. I have two eye primers, one regular eye primer, one glitter primer, which basically is the same format. It's the NYX glitter glue. Oh, NYX Glitter Primer, um, the Too Faced, uh, the Too Faced one is a glitter glue, this one's a glitter primer, um, it's, it's very, very shiny too. Anyway, um, it acts like a regular eyeshadow primer, it's just a little bit stickier, so if you want your shimmers to be more reflective, I use, if I want my shimmers to be more reflective, I use that one. Uh, I have one setting spray, I'll show you because I only have one. It's a Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. Unfortunately, they're not stocking uh, Flower Beauty in my Walmart anymore, so I will have to start buying my setting sprays. I mean, either I'll have to switch to the Milani one, which is available in my Walmart, or I'll have to start buying my setting spray online from Ulta, because I don't go into Ulta ever, unless I just have an order on pickup. That's, that's a reason to go into Ulta. Um, I have 16 lip glosses. My original count was 15, but I have a lip oil that just stays at work, which is almost used up, but it still exists, so it's being counted. I love lip glosses, so um, 16, totally reasonable. Um, I have seven liquid lipsticks, which I consider to be a little bit high, but two of them are this um, amuse-bouche liquefied lipstick form formula, so not as, um, not as drying. Um, in fact, all of my liquid lipsticks are the not as drying formula. This is about as dry a matte as I own. This is the Ofra liquid lipstick, old packaging, but a new tube. I bought it off of Hot Look. Um, it's almost a year old, but um, it's not a year old yet. Um, so yeah, I, I bought it and it was cheap and I learned that I like the formula. So when it goes bad, I will happily buy more um, Ofra liquid lipsticks because I do actually enjoy those. They seem to not go as bad as quickly as the Ultra Satin liquid lipsticks. So that is also great. Um, I, I 
have um, very textured lips, so I tend not to love the super um, dry matte the liquid lipsticks. So I have whittled down and down and down, and now I'm at seven, and I would be fine either with remaining at seven and like replacing ones that go bad or having it go down to nothing. Um, seven liquid lipsticks in general is a fine number for me, in my opinion. I don't wear them that frequently. Um, I have four lip balms. I have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have this uh, Jouer Lip Enhancer, which is a sample and is almost done. And I have this. It's technically a lip tint. Um, this was one of my Christmaca gifts from my mom. This is uh, Tokyo Milk Dead Sexy. This came this comes in a little um, duo, uh, the lip tint plus um, plus a dead sexy roller ball, roller ball, um, which I like the the dead sexy scent. So I thought that was an excellent gift, and it's a nice lip balm if I want something very nourishing, but. Also, that, uh, also that's a little bit tinted. And I have a sunscreen lip balm because sunscreen, very important. Um, and I have, I have been conscientiously collecting bullet format lipsticks because I find them to be um, more forgiving on my uh, extremely textured lips than the matte liquid lipsticks that dry down. Um, absolutely. So, um, I have the largest number. I have a lot of lippy sticks because, um, this one that I happen to pick up is a matte X. My favorite formula is the matte the cream I find to be a little bit too glossy for my taste, but here we go. Apart from like single eyeshadows, the largest number of items from a brand that all belong to one particular category for me in my collection is lippy sticks because I love the matte formula. Uh, the matte X is okay, but it gets really dry looking after a while. And then, um, oh, I did buy an additional lippy sticks in my most recent order. I was thinking I don't have enough red lipstick, which is, I mean, I have two, but like, one is, one is almost out. So I, I basically only have one red lipstick and this is um, horrible. So I bought uh, three new um, red lipsticks, one of them in the Lippy Sticks formula. So that count is in fact eight, but I did count the one that has not arrived yet. And I bought two other bullet lipsticks, I think a Milani one and a flower one which will bring my petal pouch, Flower Beauty petal pouch collection up to three. Um, and my total number of bullet lipsticks, counting the new ones that have not yet arrived, is 15. Um, as far as subcategories, I haven't actually added any of them up. I 100% have the most individual pans of eyeshadow. But after that, all of my categories of lip things is the largest by far. And I'm not sad about it. I love lip, I love lips. I love lip color. I, 
it's just, it's just my thing. I love a good bright lip color and um, yeah, I'm, this is how I live my life. It's how I got into makeup and I am still that way. I, I do a little bit more with my eyes now to make them hopefully look like something behind my glasses. Um, so I haven't added up any of the specific categories. I will add that and put it in, um, in a still here in post. Um, I, my categories as I list them in, um, in my description box are base, which is primer, foundation, concealer, powder, which I also didn't count my powders in here. Um, so I'll just add that really fast. I have three powders. That's actually pretty easy for me to figure out. I can just look over there and see them. All right, so um, primer, foundation, concealer, powder, uh, setting spray. That's my, my base category. And um, then color is the Color Cosmetics Highlight Brush, Highlight Blush and Bronzer. That's a category. Eyes is a category. I forgot brows as well. I have one brow item. And what the heck, I might as well say to lashes things. I have a lash glue and a set of lashes. All right. Um, so, uh, base color, then brows, which if I have anything in my brows, it is always the dip brow pomade in taupe. I find it easy to use. I don't use it very frequently, but uh, if I have a super dramatic eye look and my eyebrows aren't being half obscured by my glasses, then I might pull out the eyebrow pomade because a strong brow can make that look a little bit more balanced. Um, then there's eyes, which is going to be eyeshadow primers, eyeliners, eyeshadow, um, mascara, and of course lashes will be included in that. And then my last category is lips. All right, so here is the number in subcategories. And then my total number before my fast um, noted additions is 140 and the items that I added while I was filming just now uh, total six so I have 146 total items in my collection and as a reminder that I uh, is not counting my pans of eyeshadow either in pre-made palettes or in single shadow palettes individually. That's just counting them as palettes. Um, so yeah, uh, 146 items and um, the categories that you have seen and that I am yet to calculate at this moment in time. We will be revisiting this on a quarterly basis. So since this is going up in January, I will be posting an update in April, in July, in October, and then I will have a makeup inventory finale, what I've learned in keeping track of how much makeup I have, 
how I feel about it. Um, next January in 2021. So, I hope you enjoyed or learned something or both. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel like, and goodbye for now.